Hi, welcome to AFTV. I've got Premsy with me. We've just beaten Sheffield United 6-0 here at Bramwell Lane. It's good to see you firstly. Respect, bro. It's been a long time. Come back on a what a result to come back to. You know what, yeah? Swear to God, last four games, yeah? Mm. Spank City. Yeah. Everyone can get it, and that's what's happening right about now. When it's 21 goals in the last four games... Anyone, last can, get it, yeah? anyone can get it! <laughs> anyone can hey. get it! No, wait, wait, anyone can get it! We're back! Wait. We're back! Crazy, crazy. I'm, I'm, I'm holding you because, listen, yeah? I remember lo I remember City when you were doing your... And you were vexed. I remember, I remember that time, angry. You were saying anyone can get it. we got City coming up. Still got energy, still I'm believe. I'm confident, I'm confident, bro. Look, I'll be honest, yeah? Look, all the hype aside, at the start of the season, I couldn't see Arsenal yeah. winning the league, I'll be honest, yeah? But now we're at the business end. Mm. If we can learn from our mistakes last season and we can kick on from now and push on in the last 10 games, yeah? Mm. And keep ourselves in the conversation, we should be able to be in and there around, isn't it? You get me? If City drop a point, if fucking Liverpool drop points, we're all right, we're winning, you get me? We can capitalise. And now the difference is as well, yeah? That was going to be my question. What is the difference from, from, from the beginning to now? We're starting to look like the Arsenal from last season, from the start, you get me? That trip in Dubai, yeah, yo, it done us wonders. Have you got the answer to what happened there? Well, I don't know, yo, I don't know what, I don't know what. Oh, no. yo, them man were getting rubbed on them, yeah, but fucking hell, I'm telling you. They're doing the, they're doing the thing anyway, yeah. man, they're doing the thing. But look, I think since Dubai, we've come back here and we're firing on all cylinders. Players are coming back now and that's going to be pivotal to us yeah. because, look, we're not as predictable normally. We're not really seeing Jorginho and, have, and, and um, Rice in the middle and Rice pushing forward. We're not normally seeing that. Yeah. Now we've got the option of that. And if we're thinking that's good, Thomas Partey's back now. You get me? So shit's going to get serious because I'm telling you, we've been sleeping on Thomas Party yeah. Because Rice has been so good, we've been sleeping on him. But him and uh, Declan Rice now in the middle of the park, it's going to be it's going to be fire. I think that's why Arteta's starting to play Rice more forward now yeah. because he knows he knows Party's coming. coming but yeah. we just got to stick to it, Cecil. Brentford's going to be a big, big game. We have to win that game. Yeah. Innit? We win that game, top of the league. Innit? That's what I'm saying. Top I, of the I don't know, I can feel your t-shirt out. No, no, no. Are you going to put your t-shirt out? I'm confident, but never going to t-shirt out. I can feel the confidence from you though. Like. How much of a joy is it to just to, to come here, half time, it's 5 0, like you can just sit back. Like, how, as a fan, how does it feel? Because I, I, I know it's, it's a joy right now watching Arsenal. How are you feeling just being able to be so comfortable in games? Do you know what, Cecil, yeah? I, I try to stay as level headed as possible yeah, because know. Arsenal has let me down for years and years and years, and yeah. it, that's just the way it's been. Obviously, when I was younger, we were doing bits, you get me, and that's the level that I hold us to. Yeah. So I expect to see that. Sheffield United, bro, bottom of the league, really, we should be spanking these, yeah. innit? The only thing I'm disappointed about today, that it wasn't more, mm. and Saka looked like he got injured, and Martinelli looked like they got injured, yeah. you know what I mean? And that can be a bit of a fuck up for us moving forward. But really and truly, Cess, we should be spanking all of these kind of teams. That's the truth. No, but we need six, to be putting I, I, I hear Sheffield, but like West Ham 6-0, even the Burn I know they're... they're yeah, but look, let's have it right. West Ham were on a bit of a downer, you get me? Yeah. They weren't the best. They weren't in the best form. Newcastle as well, they weren't in the best kind of form when we, yeah. when we played them. Yeah. Obviously, don't get me wrong. You have to go out there and do the job. And I'm happy. I'm buzzing because as an Arsenal fan, Cecil, all I ever want is to see my team challenging for the league. And we've got no God-given right to win the title. Mm -hmm. There's teams like Man City and Liverpool in there. and you got to be able to understand that, I get it. Mm. But seeing my team challenge all the way to the end, that's where the pride is, isn't it? That's where man comes out on these cold days, yeah? And it, it makes it worth it. That's what it I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. And you're talking about teams that are on the down, the West Ham's and all that, but Liverpool, we controlled them at, at the Emirates. Like, yeah, you must feel good. like, this, this is just an Arsenal that I haven't really seen, especially in this Emirates era. No, nah, definitely not, man. We are firing on all cylinders and Arteta, he has, he has accumulated a team now where we can all look at it and see what it's doing. Yeah, Jorginho, Havertz, when they arrived, like, and think about I know man's head was hot, so, but now you've got to admit, like... Yo, I know, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I ain't even trying to say nothing, I'm not even trying to say nothing in it. You've got to give me a, a full season and a, a cool. two seasons to tell me what, what's what, and especially when you're coming in for that kind Fair. of money. But he's doing all right so far. Hopefully, fingers crossed, he could, he could keep this moving forward. But this is what we've all been asking for, yeah. a big, a big centre forward, somebody mm. who could come hold the ball up and, and, and play other people in, get his head on it. So. Hopefully in the summer now, we can go out there, grab an Ivan Tony, grab somebody of that calibre and push on to the next level. Because we're not here to fuck around now, you get me? We're here and we're here to stay, bro. I'm telling so regardless you. of how many goals we're scoring, you still want more attacking force? Yeah, forwards. 100%, man. Fucking hell, it could dry up real quick, real fast. We've seen it before. Yeah. But the good thing is, the goal scorers are coming through everywhere, innit? So, like we're saying, who put the ball in, in Sheffield's net? You get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? Half the team put it in theirs as well. You know what I mean? But it is what it is, Sess, man. I'm just buzzing. We go away, three points. Happy days, bro. Happy days. Love, man.